Hey guys, welcome back to Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we defeated the Radiance and rid the world of Hallonest of the infection once and for all. And in this episode, well, yeah, well in this episode, we're going to be looking at the Hidden Dreams DLC update. From here on out, we're going to be looking at the updates, the DLC. The first one was Hidden Dreams. As we can see here, the uh, Hidden Dreams update was released of Aug in August 2017. The Dreams of Hallowness takes shape. Two new bosses, two new tracks, a uh, new upgrade, this was when the Dream Gate was added, and uh, the new Stag Station um, uh, uncovered, which I think was the, um, the Stag Nest, uh, I believe. So, in this episode, we're going to take our first look into what this uh, DLC update adds. So, let's get right to it. So, for Hidden Dreams, our first point of interest is Shitland. <laughs> um, and it's still find it weird that there's like this weird lighting thing that makes it look like the night is blushing. Maybe from the stink, I don't know. So, if you recall, we found this little area underneath where Dung Defender uh, is fought, where, he's, uh, where he sleeps. And as you can see now... He actually, he actually has a little uh, dream of effect around him. In order for this to be accessed, you must defeat all three dreamers first. Once you do, and you come here. We are in what looks like the White Palace. Oh, and uh, before you go in there, actually, I would suggest putting on some good charms. Uh, since this is the dream world, fragile charms won't break. Um, and the lifeblood could be good. White Defender. Ah, okay. So, ah! Uh, so yes, this is the White Defender, a dream mode version of the Dung Defender. As you can see, he is very fast and very dangerous. Whoa! Uh, when he bounces around, he has an attack where he slams back into the ground and causes those pillars. Uh, you want to? Oh god! You want to save your uh, shade, uh, your shadow dash for that. Uh, also, when he pops out of the ground, he makes a lot more dung balls. As you can see there, but remember, all dung balls, ow, you can knock around. That is important to keep in mind. Uh, sharp Shadow it could be a, a helpful charm for this. Um, and yeah, um, when he does that, that one, those uh, pillars of dung will go the entire, uh, the entire arena. But when he just slams down while standing, they only go a little bit. Oh, okay, now he's doing his roar, so now he's gonna... Pop up and down a bunch. Uh. Ow. Uh. Um, so yeah, uh, for charms, I omitted um, using Joni's Blessing in favor of having... Oh, there we go. My friends, I will protect our dear kingdom. Have faith in me. We will all meet again. I promise it. So. Oh, yeah, and then the first time you beat him, you are gifted some essence. Um, so we saw a few silhouettes in the background. And if we look at these statues, they kind of match the silhouettes. Uh, this one right here in particular we have definitely seen before. That is clearly the armor that belonged to the False Knight. These figures are um, actually hinted at by Relic Seeker Lem. He has quite a lot of dialogue that I'm not going to be showing all of just because it's, you know, ch this random chance based on what dialogue you get when you give him relics. Um, 
But he mentions that there were once five great knights who all served the king. Um, they were, uh, their names were Zimmer, it's spelled Z-E apostrophe M-E-R, so I don't know if it's Zimmer, uh, Drya, Isma, Hedgemol, and Ogrim. Um, this one here, here is Hedgemol, the mighty Hedgemol. Um, he is inferred to be the one who owned the armor that the false knight took. Zimmer, we, okay, we can't really see her because Ogrim's in the way, uh, well, I get <laughs> all right. Uh, Ogrim is this one. Ogrim is oh, hey, I didn't know you can bounce on him. Uh, Ogrim is the dung defender. Zemer is this one over here, just kind of looks like a, a pillar, but um, it's has a particular shape. Um, and in the uh, in the battle arena, Zemer is the one that has a kind of a wispy, ghostly look with that, and it kind of looks like it has like antlers almost. Um, based on the spelling of the name and the shape, we can actually infer that she is the Grey Mourner, especially with the Grey Mourner having a big-ass fucking sword in her house, uh, and also being a very pale color, like the White Defender, aka Ogrim in his glory days. Um, Drya we actually saw. She is the figure lying outside of the cocoon thing that the White Lady is in. Uh, and fun fact about her... They were, um, she was actually going to be a fight. You were actually originally going to be able to fight her. Um, but she, uh, for whatever reason, she was cut from the game and ended up just kind of having already died, which is a little sad. I kind of wish we got to fight her. And then over here, this one is Isma, which you can actually hear Ogrim saying her name in his sleep. And as we know, there is an area in here called Isma's Grove. And we collected Isma's tear from the Isma tree, which I assume is Isma turned into a tree. Why is she a tree? I don't know. My idea, um, based on her silhouette, is that she has some sort of nature powers, and maybe she turned herself into a tree to s try to survive the infection or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So, five great knights. And... Ogrim seemed to call out to them, but was, but failed to, or, or he kind of, he kind of couldn't. They all disappeared. It's pretty sad. And then, uh, yeah, um, this statue over here is obviously the Pale King. Um, but yeah. So with the lore out of the way, we can actually challenge him again. The uh, two bosses added in the uh, Hidden Dreams update can be fought as many times as you want. And each time, they get progressively harder. And by that, they, uh, well, we'll see, probably. Um, uh, as for their health, I, don't, I actually forgot if, ow! I actually forgot if their health goes up, but as you can see, their damage goes up. Now, everything this guy does will deal two damage. Um, so there's a strategy right there, is using the invincibility frames that the um, slam spell gives you to avoid that. Uh, if you can't react to just dash through. Um, but yeah, those are invincibility frames I suggest using as much as you can. Ow, my god. Uh, and now one thing I got oh god, I want to test out, I forgot if, um, wait, fuck. Okay. Oh god. I want to test if that thing works where you can ground pound to make him come out of the ground if he's underground. I don't know if he's even underground for enough time for me to really do it. But I want to see if it works in this fight too. Shit, I was too late. Oh, okay. Ooh, we got him.
My king, I believe in you. I believe in Hallownest. My devotion will never falter. A very loyal knight indeed. Uh, I think my health should be restored when I go in, right? Yes. Um, and also, actually, um, you can't fight him indefinitely. You can fight, you can beat him a total of five times. And also, I just looked it up. No, his health does not go up at all. Um, but each time you beat him, he will deal an extra mask of damage. So I definitely recommend, um, Lifeblood Charms and Fragile Strength. That's what I have on. I don't remember if I actually explic is explicitly, uh, showed my charm loadout. Um, I forgot if I did. Okay, yeah, no, so you can't not- ow. Wow, yeah, <laughs> that sucks. You cannot knock him out of the ground with your ground pound, unfortunately. So he cannot really be cheesed. Like the, the original Dung Defender can, and there I go. <laughs> I realize that I don't really need Grub Song on, so I think I'm gonna go take that off and put on Joni's Blessing instead, so I'm gonna be right back. Alright, and we're back with more health. So, let's do this. And, uh, so yeah, in the background you can see- Oh yeah, and there's also the Pale King in the background, sitting on his throne. Um, oh, shit. Alright. Um, Quick Slash is also a great charm. Um, I opted for Fragile Strength, just because I don't get to use it much. But, I definitely recommend it, especially since it can help with trying to hit back uh, any of the balls, including him. Uh, and since I'm using, uh, full lifeblood, uh, I can use spells all I want without having to worry about- Oh my god, okay, I shouldn't have knocked that one up. Fuck. So yeah, when he- So generally, like, with that attack where he pops back out and makes a bunch of dung balls, you want to be, like, right up against him, because then you can land a hit on him and be safe. Be careful with the knockback. Uh, I got hit by his forehead. Okay. So, anyway, my goal for this episode is to try to... Alright. I'm gonna try to beat him five times. Um... I don't actually remember if I've ever done that or not. I might have. Maybe. Um, uh, I guess when he's, like, in the ground for that long of amount of time right there, you might want to charge up a nail art! Yeah, I recommend, right, right recommend a, a full jump there when if doing that, what I just did. Whoa, okay, uh, it seems like spells can actually destroy the dung balls. I did not know that. Uh, I'm guessing Howling Wraiths can also do that, which is good. But okay, whew. My king, Hallowness will be reborn, glorious and bright, just as it always was. Oh, I'm like still smoky. Even though I'm at full health, huh? Okay, time for round four. Not counting all the times I died. So now each hit is going to deal four masks of damage. That means I have about three hits. I can get hit three times. Whoa! It's that. That's like his worst move. Because it's so fast. Oh! See what I mean about the knockback? Oh, God. Jesus. Cool, I got a great session. Fuck. Great slash. Ha! Oh. Oh. Fuck! I didn't mean to dash, honestly. Oh, I tried to dash through him and it didn't work. Alright, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> that was like the fastest I've died to him. Oh! Okay. Oh. 
Yeah, you wanna, again, you want to be careful when he's throwing those dung balls. He does have a, a little swipe when he does it. And that can hit you sometimes. Oh! Okay. I didn't think he was going to do that that soon. Oh my god. Okay, cool. That's a, an idea. Oh. Oh, yes! Whoo! God damn. My king, we will be all together. We will all be together once more. Okay. And now, for ultimate hell. Oh! Hmm. I, think I, I thought I had a few more seconds before I. Hold on! Oh! Really? Really, you just had to use Waka as your first move. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Again! Come the fuck on, man. What? Why did I do that? I don't know. Uh... Yeah, again, be careful when hitting, knocking those ones back up, the small ones. Because normally they just hit the ground once and go away. Oh. I thought it was going to bounce higher than that. Ah! Oh. Well, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, okay, we're already on this phase, cool. Definitely use your ranged spell. Oh. Whew. Okay. How funny that I see you in my dreams too, little one. Your noble bearing reminds me of our dear king. When he returns, I'll ask him if you can become a knight. What jolly adventures we will have. And then he wakes up. Yeah, I forget if he was once, you could just fight him infinitely, and then it capped, and then the damage capped out at five, or if they, and, um, like, I don't remember if they added in him waking up, or if that was always the case, I don't recall. Um, but yeah, after the fifth defeat, he wakes up. <laughs> ah, you're awake, and looking well rested. I was startled when I woke to find you curled up beside me, but of course you're welcome to rest here whenever the world wearies whenever the world wearies you. As the king granted his kingdom to shelter those who needed it, I offer my home. Stay as long as you like, down here where it's cozy and warm and moist. Ugh. My cave may seem a far cry from the finery of the palace, but even still the memories of my former comrades and our glorious king remain fresh in my mind. The Pale Court was a wondrous place, where, full of the age's greatest heroes. Ah, looking at you now, I can easily imagine you standing amongst them. Lulu, miss, <laughs> Have we dream nail him again? 
Where will the line of Hellenists great knights end? With me? Can such a thing be passed on? Well, I mean, you did already give us this. I, this is definitely one of my favorite characters. So after you defeat him five times and then hear all that he has to talk to say to you, uh, if you leave and come back, he's gone. And he made a new little statue of us. Which is just fucking adorable. God damn. I love him. He's just a wholesome boy. And he wants to pass on... He wants us to join him. I... It makes me want a game that's just about him and the knight going on adventures together. But I know that that really can't really work. Considering how this game ends. But God... Man, I love him. So, with that, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, there will, the next episode, we will tackle the other new boss in the Hidden Dreams update. Uh, and after that, we'll move on to the next update. Uh, the next DLC. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.